Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we will explore a theme that touches the hearts of many believers, the messages of the Virgin Mary in Medjugorje, and specifically those received by Maria Pavlovich Lunetti, one of the six visionaries. Since 1981, Maria has been experiencing something extraordinary, the grace of receiving apparitions from the Madonna. Unlike the other visionaries, who receive apparitions only on particular occasions, Maria continues to receive daily messages. Born and raised in Bijakovici, a small village near Medjugorje, Maria is known for her humility and deep faith. Her mission is to transmit the messages of peace, love, and conversion that the Madonna gives her so that the world can find its way back to God. Her life is entirely dedicated to prayer and serving others, bearing witness to the importance of spirituality in everyday life. Today, I will share with you the latest message that the Virgin Mary entrusted to Maria. A message that, as always, invites us to reflect and draw closer to God in a world that seems to be moving further away from Him. Here's how you can distinguish the visions of the various visionaries. Medjugorje is a place of great mystery and spirituality, but also one of diversity and mystical experiences. The six visionaries of Medjugorje Ivanka, Miriana, Vika, Ivan, Jakov, and Maria all experience the wonder of the Virgin Mary's apparitions, but each with unique dynamics that distinguish one from another. Each visionary has received a limited number of apparitions and personal messages, and each has the task of safeguarding a particular secret related to humanity's future, which will be revealed at the appropriate time. For example, Ivanka was the first to see the Virgin and receives annual apparitions while Miriana had daily apparitions until 1982 and now receives one a year with the special task of revealing the secrets when the time is right. Ivan, on the other hand, receives periodic apparitions, often focused on prayer for priests and the youth. But then there's Maria, the visionary who still receives daily apparitions. What makes her visions different? Maria has a very special mission. The Madonna entrusts her with messages intended for the entire world which are shared publicly. These messages speak of peace, conversion, prayer, and reconciliation. Her ongoing connection with the Virgin Mary through daily apparitions makes her role crucial in spreading the message of Medjugorje. While the other visionaries carry secrets related to humanity's future, Maria's gift is to deliver daily words of hope, a call to faith and prayer. Each of her encounters with the Madonna is like an open window between heaven and earth from which we receive a direct invitation to return to God. And this brings us to today's central topic, the latest message that the Madonna entrusted to Maria, a message that we cannot ignore. Here is the message of the Madonna received by Maria on October 3rd. Dear children, pray in this time of grace and seek the intercession of all the saints who are already in the light. Every day may they be for you an encouragement and an example on the path of your conversion. Little children, be aware that your life is short and passing. Therefore, desire eternity and prepare your hearts in prayer. I am with you and intercede for each of you before my son Jesus. Thank you for having responded to my call. Key points of the message of October 3rd, 2024. Pray in this time of grace. The Virgin Mary invites us first and foremost to prayer, highlighting that we are living in a time of grace. This term indicates a special period during which divine blessings are particularly abundant, and we are given the opportunity to draw closer to God more intensely. Prayer is the means through which we can tap into these graces and strengthen our faith. Seek the intercession of all the saints who are already in the light. Here, Mary encourages us to look to the saints as models and to invoke their intercession. The saints are individuals who have already walked the earthly path and now live in the eternal light of God. Through their intercession, we can receive strength and guidance in our journey of conversion. The saints are not distant from us, but near, ready to help if we turn to them with faith. Every day may they be for you an encouragement and an example on the path of your conversion. The Virgin emphasizes the importance of seeing the saints as concrete examples to follow daily. Conversion, in fact, is not a one-time event, but a continuous process, a journey that requires consistency and dedication. The saints are living witnesses who remind us that with faith and perseverance, 
we can face difficulties and reach union with God. Your life is short and passing. With this phrase, the Virgin Mary offers a deep reflection on our human condition. Our earthly life is only a stage, a passage toward eternal life. She reminds us that even though we are often consumed by material things or concerned with daily problems, these things are temporary. We must focus on eternal life and prepare ourselves spiritually for it. Desire eternity and prepare your hearts in prayer. This point is a call to reorient our desires and priorities. We are often attracted to what is temporary, but here Mary urges us to desire eternity, which is the only true goal. Prayer is the tool that allows us to prepare our hearts, purify them, and make them ready for the encounter with God. I am with you and intercede for each of you before my son Jesus. Finally, the Virgin Mary offers a word of comfort and hope. We are not alone on this journey. She is beside us, guiding us, and interceding for us before her son Jesus. This is an invitation not to fear, but to trust in her maternal presence and in her constant prayer for us. Thank you for having responded to my call. The message concludes with the Virgin's customary thank you. This phrase reminds us that every time we listen to her call and respond with an open heart, we are cooperating with her plan of peace and conversion for the entire world. These are the key points of the October 3rd message, and each of them contains a precious teaching that can help us live a life more centered on prayer, conversion, and preparation for eternal life. What powerful words. Once again, the Virgin calls us to the essence of our existence. Our life is short and fleeting, yet we often forget this. We allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by daily problems and the distractions of the modern world, but here the Virgin invites us to rediscover the essential, eternity. A clear and direct invitation to prepare for what truly matters. This message comes as an urgent call, especially in a time that the Virgin describes as, as a time of grace. It is no coincidence that she urges us to pray and seek the intercession of the saints. The saints already in eternal light are models who show us the way. Their lives were testimonies of faith and perseverance, and their intercession can help us remain steadfast on our spiritual path. The message also touches on the theme of conversion, a key word in all the apparitions of Medjugorje. Conversion is not an isolated moment, but a continuous journey. Every day is an opportunity to improve, to draw closer to God, to prepare ourselves for the eternity that awaits us. The Virgin Mary consoles us by reminding us that we are not alone. She intercedes for each of us before her Son Jesus, our Savior. No matter how distant or lost we may feel, the Madonna accompanies us and prays for us. It is a message of hope, trust, and maternal love, an invitation to hope and faith. Dear friends, the message of the Virgin Mary is a powerful call that we cannot ignore. We live in difficult times where trials seem insurmountable and temptations lead us away from the true light. But, as the Virgin has told us, we are not alone. She is with us, interceding for us, and constantly inviting us to rediscover the beauty of faith, prayer, and conversion. We must never lose hope. Even when everything seems dark, the light of Christian truth is always shining, ready to guide us. Jesus Christ is our only true salvation, and the Madonna reminds us that if we trust in Him, desire eternity, and prepare our hearts, we can find peace even in the chaos of the world. Now more than ever, we are called to be a light for those around us. Share this message of hope with your friends and family. May they also receive this invitation to prayer and conversion. If this video has inspired you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content and give a like to support our work. Share this video with anyone you think needs it, because together we can spread the message of the Madonna and bring more hearts to God. Thank you for being with us today, and may God bless you.